A question I'm always asked when I'm putting together a retirement plan is, should I work another year? Or can I retire a year earlier? And you may have the same question. And it is a very good question. How do you know when you can retire and have a secure plan that will last all the way to the end of your life, however long that may be? Now, when you think about it, working one more year does give a lot of financial benefits to your retirement plan. You have one more year of income that's covering your expenses. You have one more year of growth in those retirement portfolios before you begin to take distributions. You have one more year of contributions to your retirement accounts. And you have another year before you need to start Social Security or start your pension income. And so those amounts will be bigger. And so working one more year can really be like two years because you have the double impact of you're not taking in dist any distributions from your retirement accounts and you have the income coming in that's covering your expenses. So it can be like a two year impact to your plan. But that may just be giving you a much bigger surplus to leave at the end of your life. And so the question becomes, do you need to work one more year in order to have a secure retirement or can you retire a year earlier and have the time, the time that you want to do the things that you want to do, enjoy time with your spouse, your family uh, while you're younger. And so it is a very good question. The way to answer that question is to stress test your retirement plan, project your retirement all the way out to the end of life and look at it retiring a year earlier versus retiring a year later. And it's very important in my opinion to run your plan all the way out to age 95 to 100. I see a lot of plans that stop at age 90 or maybe 92, uh, plans that have been prepared using online software or have been prepared, uh, a lot of them have been prepared by Fidelity or by other advisors. And those plans stop at age 90 to 92 because yes, that is past our current life expectancy, but life expectancy is increasing and our medical advances are increasing. And so it is important to know that if you live past that age 90 or 92, that your plan is still going to be strong. And what I find when I run some of those plans is that they drop off very fast beyond age 92 which means that that individual would run out of money very quickly at that later point in time in their life. And so it is important to run the plan and stress test it for different economic environments and run it longer than you expect that you're going to live so that you know that it is staying strong as long as you might live. And then you can know is working another year, is that giving me greater security that I, that I do need or is that just building up extra surplus that is going to be left uh, to, to my heirs or to the charities that I support? And then you'll have a better understanding of, can you retire a year earlier or would it make sense for you to work another year? Stress testing your plan can give you the clarity that you need to know what is the best time for you to retire. That can help you know how you can balance your time and your resources to have your best retirement. So stress test your plan. If you need have questions about that, need some help, feel free to reach out. And I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss anything uh, else that we post. Uh, and then you can find me also on my podcast, Retire on Your Best Path with Liz Whittaberry. That is on any of your podcast platforms and we share a lot of other good information there. Look forward to talking to you next time.